Tectonic secondary hazards can result in some of the most devastating impacts caused by earthquakes and volcanic events. Some of the most severe impacts are caused by tsunamis, giant waves that travel across oceans at the speed of a jet aircraft. When they reach land, they can rise as high as an eight-storey building, creating a powerful deluge that floods low-lying towns and cities for many kilometres inland. Tsunami is a Japanese word meaning harbour wave, and tsunamis most often occur close to major fault zones, like countries located around the Pacific Ring of Fire. So how do tsunamis actually occur? To find out, let's head to Bangor in North Wales. We're at one of the world's leading submarine landslide laboratories at Bangor University. Here, it is possible to simulate tsunamis. Tsunamis occur when something happens that displaces a huge amount of water. Four different types of geological event are capable of doing this. Landslides on land can produce tsunamis if they fall into the ocean. But landslides can also occur completely underwater. This is what we have here, a submarine landslide. The sea bottom collapses, producing a landslide. At the same time, the landslide displaces a large amount of water, which creates tsunami waves. Once the landslide has happened, the waves travel very quickly across the ocean at speeds of between 600 and 900 kilometres per hour. That's the speed of a jet aircraft. At this point, each individual wave can be over 200 kilometres long. As the waves move into shallower water, they slow down, increase in height and get closer together. When the waves reach the coastline, the seawater often first draws back before it rushes forward onto the coast, inundating low-lying areas. This water has a lot of energy and it often picks up and deposits sediment along the coastline. Often, several separate waves hit the coast during a tsunami, with the ocean drawing back and pushing forward each time like a giant version of the waves on a beach. Tsunamis can also be generated by large earthquakes. Tectonic fault movements can shift the seabed by several metres in less than 60 seconds. And like landslides, these fault movements displace huge amounts of water creating tsunami waves. Volcanic eruptions can also generate tsunamis. During eruptions, the sides of volcanoes often collapse, creating landslides that fall into the ocean. These landslides then create tsunamis. And finally, rare meteorites that fall into the ocean can also cause tsunamis. The bigger the meteorite, the bigger the tsunami. Try this one. Much better. Oh, that was a great one. Can we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> 